that a heat problem? No, we good, right? Yeah, we good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on, guy. Hang on, guy. Yeah, handle it back here. Yeah, did you? All right, Shalom, Shalom. Want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory. Tell me, I want to find some town shot, find some Yeah, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to our teachers, the head of apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men who we believe, you know, the Heavenly Father raised up and sent forth here in the latter days to expound on His words. And for you men out there who continue in that legacy, shout out to one of you all and you know the believers who hold fast to those words. All right? So we back out here once again. And pretty much the song we sing, you know, basically the rallying cry is to pronounce judgment against this place of America, Babylon the Great. Which the Heavenly Father would be justified in visiting. Why? Well, the Lord is not gonna judge America according to his standards. What I mean by that? The fact that here, you have the right to be perverse. You have the freedom to be a goddamn demon. Case in point, you ask the average person, how you feel about homosexuality? At best, they're gonna say, you know what? As long as it don't affect me. Right, so they promote what? Uh, do as you will, and I'll turn a blind eye. Guess what? Your how about some outside is not gonna turn a blind eye. Why? Because he's going to judge America according to the standards of the Bible. That's why when you read the scriptures, it speaks about not suffering a witch to live. Hey, in relation to the nations, the witch is America. That's why when you read um, Revelation, the 17th chapter, it speaks about that golden cup in their hand. That's a struggle to potion. Right? The scriptures tell you how they, the nations drunk of that cup, and now they're mad. So pretty much this is what we symbolize. Real quick, give me 1 Corinthians, the 4th chapter, in the ninth verse. You had something? Yeah, 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles' last. Let's look up that word, last. The Lord sent forth certain spirits into the planet Earth to channel his intents and purposes into the earthly realm. That's why when you read Daniel, the fourth chapter, it speaks about how the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. So your coming and going is based upon a higher power. Those who succumbed to the flood, it was um, cemented by the word of the Lord which came through Noah. So that's what we read in here. It says, I have sent forth the apostles last. We're not here just to entertain you. We're here to introduce you to a moment in time in prophecy. Gonna rock you over the magic to the front side. Yeah. All right, come on. Right. The word last, Strong's G, 2078, Eclectos, is stream. Last in time or in place. Right, so the Lord sent the apostles into this time frame, this moment in time, and it says in place. So that will be a particular place where the prophets will be raised up and sent forth. Yep, come on. Up. This is the book of uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, and verse three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an abundant time." Right now, when you go into that word vision, right there, it goes right back to the word prophets. So we're here to pretty much expound on the future. Basically, to pronounce the fate of America and those of you who are under its vibration. Come on, up. got some real quick. Mm -hmm. Going back to that, um, uh, this word appointed in the, in the Strong's, Strong's 8 41 50, it says appointed place, appointed yeah. time. Right, appointed place, appointed time, man. Which you do have the prophets scattered throughout the earth, but the main deliverance, the main. Uh, uh, perspective of the ministry, the center focus, if you will, will be right here in America. I bet you didn't know you hardcore studying Christian. I'm talking about the most sophisticated Bible. Culture. I bet you didn't know John the Baptist came to America. 
Hey, that sounds crazy if I was to pose you with that question. Right in a debate, you know? <laughs> Which we're not about that, but I'm saying, if you had an organized debate, and, you know, from an intellectual point, I look like the president. <laughs> I pose that question. Sure. How you feel about Janet Baptist coming to America? That, that don't even sound right. You have to be in the right spirit to pick up on That's why I said you're going to be sent to a particular place. Furthermore, when you go going to the uh, prophecies, in a particular Malachi, the fourth chapter, it tells you how John, the Lord will use John to set the hearts of the fathers and the sons. That would be the connection. So you're witnessing the prophets of the Bible over here in the modern world. God. Uh, Africa 2 and 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right, at the end it shall speak. When you go into the word speak, in the Hebrew, the word that's the bar. And one of the definitions that is uh, breathe, meaning it will come to life. The prophecy, prophecies that come alive. And here, here in the end. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Like you plant a seed, and it's a certain season when that seed manifests. Well, it says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, mm -hmm. it will not tarry. Yep. That's what we're doing, we're patiently waiting, right, on the return of your house up. How's it coming, we got something? Yeah. But the second answer is 9 and verse 5. For like it's all things that is made in the world at the beginning and an end. Right, read that again. Now this second answer is 9 and 5, for like it's all things that is made in the world, at the beginning and an end. Yeah, all things. That's essentially a born on date and then it's a death date. You buy a new car and it's new when you buy it, but eventually it becomes old. Go ahead. He says, in the end, it's manifest. Right, and just like that car scenario, the end of that car is manifest because now the motor knocking, it, it lets you know it's at the end. All right, you get an alert, a light check engine. It ain't the same car it was at the beginning, and the manifestation is in the form of sign. And you crazy, you see the engine light, and you just don't pay no attention. <laughs> then you get uh, in a situation, the hood up, and you surprised. Right, that's going to be the state of you Americans, man. Right? And then you Israelites. Yeah, because we're in the time now where the Lord is severing there's a wedge being driven between Israel. Oh, we were speaking um, about that, about how um, the certain Pharisees and shit, they scattered all over the place, man. The, the wicked amongst the, the Pharisees and scribes questioned your house side motive. That's why the Lord always said, uh, the scriptures tell you how the Lord knew what they was thinking. And you had to ask them why they was always around. Why? Because, <laughs> right? Why? You know? Because they in the hearing. They actually got on garments, they out there teaching, whether it's I-U-I-C or I-C-U-K, you know what I mean? Yeah, come on. I got a definition of expiration. It says, expiration, the ending of the fixed period mm -hmm. for which a contrast is born. Wow. If I'm not mistaken, I feel where expiration goes and to breathe out as well. Hey, that's, that's what it is. That's it. That's it. Right okay, there. yeah, that's what it that's is. It right there. Breathe out. Yep. Inspire the spirit. Yep. Yep. Right, right. Yep. It's meaning out the spirit uh, to breathe out. That goes back into heaven, man. The words of the Lord have come That's alive. It. That's it. Why Michael to Oh, they spent over uh, so many billion. They spent more money than anybody. Uh, America, I think, in China. That was the one race that I think America was born. Like the last I checked. They bought all, all them cigarettes they more. <laughs> but they bought all those right, Michael to for what, man? Because why? The prophecies have come to life. Was that it on that? Was that it on that? Okay. Yeah, the book of Acts, chapter 1, and uh, started verse 7. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. Yeah. But you shall receive power yeah. after that the Holy Spirit has come upon it, you. Yeah. And you keep saying certain words there. This is jumping after. You can't put a you can't put a cap on after. Anytime after. So that even applies to now.
because the ministry, Yahweh Sat being the uh, cornerstone, right? Yahweh Sat is the foundation. When you build a house, which I'm, I'm pretty sure most of the brothers have, we've been on construction sites. The, the first, you know, been in the first stage is, is the uh, foundation. Right? So that's why even John the Baptist made the statement, Yahweh Sat was preferred before me. See, so this is the after effect. They didn't stop, you can't stop building what was started. So now you have pillars. Come on. He says, um, and you shall be witness, uh, witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Right, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the same definition. Yeah. I, I know, matter of fact, let's take on that word as well. We got anything else? Yeah, come on, speak up. It's, uh, it's Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. He said, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, mm -hmm. saying, my counsel shall stand. Yeah, that's the, everything is built up to now. And, and that's the counsel of Yahweh Sai. That counsel shall stand. That's the erection. Right? The foundation being Yahweh Sai. Then you have the men who was entrusted with the doctrine. And there's a snare even in that, because your cousin, right, you thought you knew, he was a prophet. Your daughter, your son, your little brother, uh, you know, your baby dad. <laughs> Those was the prophets, man. And that's told you how cold, and, and it tells you that in Wisdom of Solomon in the seventh chapter, there's only one way. A king, even a king, can come into the planet Earth. So the prophets came back to Israel. Scripture said, let us now praise famous men. Man, mm -hmm. they don't want to praise their cousins and uncles. He said, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Lord is going to uh, execute the word. See, there's nothing you can do, we can do, they can do, anybody can do to, to halt or to stop the momentum of prophecy. It's just like you trying to stop, what the day of Saturday? You trying to stop Sunday. Think about that. I know it sounds fun, but just think about that. How, how powerless you are. You could be a stubborn nigga, but you can't stop Sunday. See, that show you the force. Oh, that's why the scriptures say a wise man consider both time and time. Because you can't stop the power of time from progressing. Eventually, this place is going to be uh, toppled. And you can add, uh, you can slow down. What they, uh, they add the extra time. They should think of the change. Yeah, Daniel 7 chapter. Daylight saving. What you got? Saving it for a minute. What's the rush? I mean, it's like, what's it? Right? Yeah, what's the hold up? Yep. All right, come on. Second Ezra's 1 and 37. I take the, the, to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, Yet in spirit believe the thing that I say. If I may? Mm -hmm. yeah, in spirit believe the thing that I say. And through the men who the Lord has set up, they're going to go into there. How the Lord give, have given out leaders, man. You know? It says, somebody, like, real quick, like you said, have not believed, have not seen me with bodily eyes, man. Right. And that's what uh, Hebrews 11 and 1 come into play at. Mm -hmm. Right? That's real faith. Right? You, you, you believe in something that you haven't seen with your physical eyes. So guess what? You got to be spiritual to do that. Go ahead, huh? you gotta and, go. and now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that come from the east. Right? We, in the, we came from the east. We're now right. in the west. Yep. Uh, the uttermost parts. The extreme. It says, unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Hosea. You always have to... Say right there, Isaac was most notable in that series. That was uh, that was uh, the house up for those of you who have seen it. 
No, that's still the answer. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Amos, Malachias, Joel, Obadiah, and Jonas, Nahum, and Rebecca, Zephaniah, Agias, Zachary, Michael, which is called also the angel of the Lord. Yep, the angel being the messenger of the Lord, right? If you notice the thing, there was the prophets. So the prophets are the leaders. And it makes sense because seeing that they will be entrusted with the word of the Lord. See that? So they were sent as messengers. We're not just here just to be here. And we're here with a with a uh, certain message. There's a song that we sing. Right? That song it can't be altered in that. Alright, come on. That was it? That's all real quick. Going back, this the book of um, this bag of the brother. This the book of Acts 8. And I'm gonna jump down to verse um Acts 8 and 35. It says, then Philip began, matter of fact. I'm gonna start it start with verse um Acts 8 and 29. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him. Hey, real quick, hey, you, you gotta believe, first of all, when the Spirit tells you something and you don't have the gift of faith, you won't be able to act on what right. the Spirit is telling you. Right. Faith, faith without works. Faith without works. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Because you're being carnal. Yep. You can't show your faith. Uh, by your works, if you're being carnal, go ahead. Huh? Oh, you had to, you had to uh, speak. You got to speak. I believe that's man, why that's I speak. I speak. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. And when you speak, man, the, the things that you speak shall come to pass, man, because you're speaking the truth. Right. You know, you're speaking a lie, it, it's going to fall to the wayside. It, 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 it's, um, it's vain speech. But when you're speaking the truth, right, it's going to come into, as they say, in, in, into fruition. Like the Lord say, it's not going to return unto me void. Right. Noah. Noah. Right, it's uh, no, uh, Isaiah 55 said, My word is not like the rain. That's it, that's it, come down, yeah. Woo, so, then physically, it actually sounds like yeah. then you can fast forward to now. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. same yeah. decree yeah, is, is active. Yeah. And now we're calling down fire from heaven, right? The strange one. But ultimately, it's coming from above, either way. So, that means that the prophets have authority. Mm -hmm. Saying again that we were given the word of the Lord. We often go into that, that idea of a child. The moment they say mama said, mm. right, in truth, right, they say, well, the authority figure in the house, then that baby was carriers of powerful words that you got to even hearken to. Hmm. Well, he says, in I don't want to hearken to a baby. Yeah, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Hmm. But, but like you say, he, he got the words yeah. of a king. Right, he got the words <laughs> of a yeah, king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got the words of a king. Yeah. That would give them the power. Right, right, right. It's a lot, y'all. You say, your words hold weight. That's it. That's Especially it. if you give it to somebody, let me know, you know, whatever yeah. say goes. Yeah, whatever say goes. Because it is not my word. I'm, I'm only uh, being a herald, right? But not a herald, but I'm being a messenger. You know, an envoy, a herald, same thing. You know, I'm, I'm bringing forth the word that was given unto me, like you said. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to be there. Right, you ain't got to be there. I ain't got to be there. That's but, what, but, I did the message. Yeah, exactly. But my words got go ahead. I got something real quick. Oh, no, go ahead. Real quick. Oh, no, no. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 3, verse uh, 19. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Samuel grew, yeah, yeah. and the Lord was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Yeah, just going back. These are the words of Yahweh by Shemel So the things that you speak is going to hold weight. It's not going to fall to the ground. It's not going to be in vain. Why? Because it's of Yahweh Shimei man. Mm -hmm. That's why it was well known that prophet was a, 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 a prophet indeed. Samuel was it's like Samuel was well known as a prophet indeed because uh, the words checked out. That's why he jumped to the sixteenth chapter. Talks about how the elders trembled at his coming. You know, what you got, bro? Hey, so like uh, just to add on it. Uh, even Jeremiah, mm -hmm. when Jeremiah was a prophet, he was 12 years old, so you was know there was some people that were showing him off, they didn't want to walk up to him, they just thought he was just a child, right. but he, he was made manifest that he was a man of the Lord. It got to the point they even threw Jeremiah in the jail, you know, just because of the, he spoke the words he had about showing up a child. Yeah, oh yeah, that's heavy when you read um, the 33rd chapter of Jeremiah, 
speaks about how uh, the Lord visited him the second time in prison. And that was a foreshadowing of now. Because we're in prison. In this, yes. Right? In this land of our captivity. Yes. But when you read into that, it said the Lord said he would show us things that we knew not. Yeah, we thought this was a perpetual state right, before he was introduced to the words of, you know, the how we shine, his testimony. Yep, sorry. Good morning, up. Go back in Acts. Yep. Going back to Acts 8, verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet uh, Isaiah yep. and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? So like, yeah, he, he was reading the scriptures, but he didn't really have no understanding. He says, he said, how can I, except some man should guide me? Yeah. It's like, that's why the Lord set up certain men up today, man. Because uh, Nick is talking about uh, men worship. What about right. Moses then? The hey. Lord was actually uh, working yeah. with Moses, yeah. man. Yeah. So so if you following Moses, that man worship, no, you actually uh, following Moses because Moses following the Lord. But you're saying that by Aaron then. That's it. That's why I say be followers of me as I am yeah, with the house. Yeah, that's you it, see, that's it, that's so that's it, how that's you it. gotta work through the pipeline. Hey, man. but get what, man? Yeah. See, see, see individuals that have that 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 mindset, they kernel. Yeah. You got to be spiritual, man. Yeah. You know, you, you gotta let them testosterones go, man, all that pride go. Because guess what? That's how the most high works. Like you always say, the most high through your house shine ain't gonna swoop down in your room right. and tell you a goddamn yeah. thing. You got the scriptures. Yeah. Right. You, yeah, yeah. Hey, you, you got the scriptures on you. Give me Jeff, my son. Come then first, now you believe. Now you believe. Come first of all, bitch, you gonna die. You gonna motherfucking, you gonna die, man. Cause the most, you gonna give up the ghost. Hey, you know how the scripture say the scripture gives a depiction of angels? Yeah. Right? You see a real, you see an angel, bro. You gonna bug out if you ain't in the spirit. See that's the thing. If you in the spirit, yeah, you gonna, you gonna, I ain't gonna lie. If you in the spirit, you gonna be like John of Patmos, and you may, you know. But that angel gon' go correct your motherfucking ass, cause the angel ain't gonna play. <laughs> the angel ain't gonna play. Cause the angel, angel on a on a on a higher level than you so like an angel on a higher level than you because the angel, just a just a tad bit, why I say that? Because he's under heavy commands. You know what I mean? Like he got forward commands. He's like a computer. You type in certain, he can't go outside of that. Man can get colonel. See what I'm saying? But we in the spirit, we ain't gonna get colonel. But the spirit go at that at that point. The, the spirit go kick in. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. 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 Like, mm -hmm. uh, he's not going to give you any sign, but that's the sign it. of John. Right. Right. That's, 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 that's it, bro. That in that's itself, exactly that. That. Yeah. Yeah. spirit of prophecy. Yeah. Spirit of y'all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, you know what? That goes back to what we originally opened up with. First Corinthians, the fourth chapter. We're going to go back there, man. When the Lord sent forth the apostles last, right? And you're going to know it. The Lord said he would bring us fame in the, the land where we were shamed. Part of that fame is thrusting us into the public's eye. And that, that uh, complements Matthew, the 24th chapter, this gospel of the world, so this gospel of the kingdom, so the priest. Yep. Come on. Uh, to observe. No, so like you. Observe, give heed. Yeah, give heed. Wow. Yeah, give heed. Yep, so I uh, yeah, so cut real quick. Psalm, I mean it's like St. Matthew chapter chapter 10, verse 41. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. All right, so you hey, that shows you is different um forms of prophets in the sense of who sent them. It tells you that in uh, Jeremiah the twenty-third chapter. Right, 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 right. So you can't just receive any prophet. You have to receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, because that prophet is Yahweh Shah. See? And that don't mean that because you utter that name, then now you let your guard down and trust the guy who say utter the name Yahweh Shah. No, you have to follow the correct doctrine. See? Go ahead. God, it says, and he that receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man. And that, and that same righteous man is the prophet is Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Shall receive a righteous man's reward. Yep, and ultimately that reward is preservation, salvation. That's why we just read in Psalm 37 chapter. The end of that man is peace. Woo. Galatians the sixth chapter. Right? Peace and mercy be upon the Israel of the Most High. Why would the scriptures even say that? If I promise you, hey, you're gonna be all right. Right. That means you, you turn on a movie, right? right? And the first thing you hear, you're going to be all right. You got to fast forward and see. Where are you going to be all right from? <laughs> or either fast forward. Yeah. Mm. Uh, rewind or fast forward. Yeah. Either way. Because he's not telling you you're going to have peace for nothing. That indicates that we're closing in on heavy times. A time of trouble, in fact. See? All right, so come on. You read you more than that? I uh, know we're gonna get what we got, then we get that. Oh, I think you so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Jeremiah 35 and uh, verse 15, it says, I have sent also unto you all my servants and prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way. Oh, well, hold up. Hey, the, the teaching of the destruction and the, the mayhem and misfortunes and calamities, which is scriptural. That's really an effort to seal the elect. Let's prove that. Go to uh, Revelation, the seventh chapter. <sighs> because if we were just teaching a world-friendly, safe doctrine, then you wouldn't be uh, compelled to repent. Noah was just out there, right, not telling the people what it is, which they didn't repent anyway. But if he didn't believe what it was, he would have never, right, you yeah. wouldn't have never uh, proceeded forth with building the ark. That's why when you read the book of Habakkuk, the, um, is that the third, third chapter? chapter? I heard that speech and I was afraid. Yeah. Yeah. No, third yeah. chapter. Yeah you, yeah, you should be driven to your feet, man. All right, come on. It says, uh, it's like. It says, um, return ye not every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. Mm -hmm. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given you, given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearken unto wow. me. Yeah, you have not conceded to your how about some outside. And again, it's a snap because if the Lord would have sent forth men of prestige, in this society, men, you know, with a, a, a certain um, uh, many mighty, many right? Yeah, noble, uh, yeah, uh, 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 what nobility? Uh, that yeah. what I was, yeah. yeah. Oh, was that First Corinthians, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with stature or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. In this society, then truly you would have listened, man. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, going back to what what Elder was saying on that on that weak things of the world. That's us, man. Right. Like you said, if, if the Most High through Yahweh Shah had, had touched someone that, that was, uh, just say for instance, 
I always go through this through the spirit. Just say somebody like uh, the guy that perceived that we perceived to be an Edomite, Albert Einstein, right? He, he is esteemed as a, a very intelligent scientist. Or I forget, I forget his title. I think he was a scientist. I forget. Don't, don't, a physicist. That's it. He was a he was a physicist, right? And he was esteemed as a very intelligent researcher, and you know all of this in this world. So what if he had came forth with the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven? It would have been it would have been uh, uh, um, accepted by the people because the people already esteemed him with the, the knowledge of of, um, of something that was higher than themselves. So if he had came with the knowledge of the kingdom of the heaven, they really would have believed him because he was already esteemed as a noble person. But when you come somebody less noble, like the weak things, someone that, that that's, not, that's not learned by the, the, the current system, and that could be, you know, it could be whatever system it is, but the current system now is America. Mm -hmm. So if you is educated by the current system and you was able to come with, you know, mysteries, you know, to the masses, they would accept it. But the Most High, and the, like, why the Most High done this? Because all things are done for the glorification of the Most High. Right? He's showing his power through us. Isaiah the secret chapter. Arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is, is uh, risen upon thee. Right? So the most high have chosen small things and weak things, minute things, as Yahweh Shah said, like it. As Yahweh Shah said, the babes. Right? Now you have hid these things from the wise and wise and the prudent, and have given these things unto babes, therefore. The glorification goes to the most high. Right? Now when you can say, call her law, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. All praise Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Why? Because he said, guess what? I use a fucking rock. Uh -huh. I don't need you, I, you, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to get the glorification. Now, Mason, like, uh, on my, uh, scenario going to Gideon, the Lord, you know, Gideon and everything, he had uh, pretty much cut down yeah, the line exactly. before they didn't yeah. get too proud. <laughs> you know? exactly. So if it was too much, you say the Lord didn't do it. We cut it down to 300 said the Lord had to do this. Who took 300 men? You know? What you got? I got some real quick. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, Sirach, it. that's exactly what I'm saying. You got it all. So Rock 13 and 23, when a rich man speaketh, See? every man See? hold of his tongue. See? So uh, uh, just say Albert Einstein. Like, every, uh, just say Albert Einstein. It ain't even got to be Albert Einstein in this modern uh, life that we're living in, this modern society. Anyone that, that the public holds as an intelligent individual, that will be considered the wise because he has many possessions, meaning mentally, and he can put forth. Go ahead, up. Uh. Even, yeah. even, even on the level, which that, that's a twofold scripture. Even, even on that level of having many things for his possessions, for his kernel possessions, right? You know how Jake is. You know they'll listen to the ones that's paid in this society, but they won't listen to the lesser ones in this society. The poor, the poor, the water, the water, the poor. That's what I'm trying to say. Yep, got it up. It says. So I can read from the top. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. They have stolen to the clouds. But if they a poor man. They have stolen to the clouds. They hold it in high. Oh, the guy, remember the guy who came up and descended upon us? Um, was it at the camp out the guy made the statement? Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Like, that's what Jesus said. He was serious, man. That was extolling, um, extolling a man's words to the crowd. Yeah. 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 And you know what? And you know one who are, uh, of the unlearned, they would have entertained that, and they would have been talking about Jesus. Oh! Like, yeah, he, so like, mm, he, he would be considered a noble individual, man. Like someone of status, someone of status. In this world. Yeah. Yeah. And that shows you how much of a downgrade this place is. <laughs> well, well, a nigga like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Words, oh, the nigga pop. For, oh, for, man. for generations, niggas held on to that, um, that only God can judge me. Jeez. That was a wicked ass uh, step. That was a wicked ass uh, statement. Uh, only God can judge. Go ahead. Uh. But if the poor man speak, they say, "What fellow is this mm -hmm. 
And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Yep. Uh, the poor man, he don't represent power. You know? You don't see us out here bearing arms or uh, promoting schools. And they don't lie in bed with uh well scripture say that uh men of uh um, Oh, oh, yeah. I was thinking about the, um, oh, you got that? Oh, the sound of the princess. Oh, then you got that. Yeah, Jane. Oh, I know you're talking about, okay. um. Yeah, uh, with John the Baptist. Oh, yeah, God. What did you expect? Uh, to see the, uh, uh, yeah, God, read, say it in the wind. Yeah, that's it. Read, shaking. Oh, that's an example of standing stiffly, man. Yeah. Because he's not going to be wavering on what uh, he was sent to do. I got that. And that's why, you know what? And that's why we are problem. Because you could pay off. It tells you that the wisdom of Solomon, uh, is that the second chapter? It says they are not of, uh, yeah, they're of another fashion. Like those uh, men, those movements before us, or even certain Israelites, you could pay them off. You see your boy down there in, um, yeah, Jephthah, man. Right? That means they were shaking with the wind. With every, but, but the true prophets is going to be uh, steadfast and display a certain level of constancy, right? In their uh, presentation. Right, so come on. Right. Con, yeah, this is the book of St. Matthew. 11, chapter 11, verse 7. And as they departed, the hour shot began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What? Ye went out to see. What? When ye out to see. That's why I can read it again. And as they departed, yeah, I was shy began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaking with the wind? But what ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Right, clothed in soft raiment. Spiritually, how does that apply to none? That's dealing with that world friendly doctrine, man. Because your raiment or your clothing is your doctrine. Mm. That's it, buddy. Yeah, we covering, yep. yep. What? It says, Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. What that mean? They, they, they're connected with the government. Uh -huh. You're in bed with the government. You live in king's houses. That's why you see these guys with these 501 c charters, mm -hmm. these schools and all that. They're in king's palaces, man. The ones who are on, on top, they have a, 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 a they have forged an alliance with them. That place. Yeah, that, yep, that place. Yeah, yeah. Which, if I'm not mistaken, when you go into the word place, that Greek word that's topos, they go back to top, like top position. I know in the case of uh, the, uh, the Pharisees, the wicked amongst them, who was threatened by Yahweh's presentation. They said, no, this man going to cost us our seat. That word seat going to topos. Even the disciples got scooped and said, you know you just offended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. It says, <laughs> so like, it's good to say, yeah, that, yep, that's it. It says, right. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's palaces, but what ye out for to see a prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. Yeah, yeah so we can get that James real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to get that because, um, those in soft raiment, right? They, that's because you have to look deep. You got to say, Well, hold up, why is, is, um, your message more of a world friendly. Like how you might see you see marriages and cookouts. That's because they're in King's Palace. Yeah, yeah, I'm checking it out, right? Yeah, that, that's the oh, man. Ooh, shit. Oh, 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 Oh, man. 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 This is the book of James 2, verse 2. For if there come unto you your assembly 
a man with a gold ring and godly apparel. And there come in also a poor man in foul raiment. Right, he, and that raiment, yeah, with the naked eye. You no, know, obviously, you're, you're, uh, you're married that with, with physical garments, right? And there's an element to that. But spiritually, that foul raiment is our doctrine, man. It's not easy on the eyes. Yes, it is. Right? <laughs> That's that vile raiment. You don't want to hear what we got to say. It's not pleasing on the eyes. You don't want us in your hearing. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah you, have, you got an all white party and we come up in that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. Sackcloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. That's gonna, right? That, that's not gonna be easy on the eye. It's gonna upset the cart, so to speak. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why the scripture said, but man with vile raiment come in. What? And ye have respect to him that wears the gay clothes. Right, yeah, you have respect. You show reverence to those who have those world friendly doctrines because it's a two way street at that point. Right? It's almost a scratch your back, I scratch yours. Oh, I can still rock dreads. Oh, I can, you know? You can still. Eventually have one foot in the grave, right? And then your, your teacher in that moment here come, you know, he'll talk it out. You good? Oh, the scripture speaks about that uh, coming through the straight gate, man. There's going to be restrictions. You can no longer eat pork. You can no longer commit adultery. You can no longer go out the false gods, strange gods, Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you bring one over. But, uh, yep, yep, yep. So it's like, because that's, that's why, um, okay, all right, good. That's why, um, Jake, 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 um, that's, that's why Jake, uh, denounced his truth, man. Yeah, because they don't want no restrictions on their life, man. Jake want to do what the, who the hell what they want to do, man. You know, so you, when you tell them what they can't do, First thing Jake was saying, man, I'm a grown ass man. Come on, bro. You're not my daddy. <laughs> you ain't my daddy. Right. Who right. you is to tell me? And then, hey, guess what? That Jake might be doing better than you in life. And first thing they would say, who are you to tell No, bro. Yep. See? Whoa. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? As you were speaking, I was thinking about, um, you know, when they asked you how I was shot by what authority speak these things. So that's the vibration of most Israel. All right, come on, was it more, man? Not yet, kind of, uh, verse 3 says, And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place. Right, yeah, that means you hold him in a certain, right, you hold him in a certain uh, regard. Go ahead. It said, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my foot. Right, you place them in a certain position. The worst group ever, great millstone, GMS. That's the that that's actually that's in uh, in the atmosphere that has been spoken. That's on record. People have actually came out and said the worst group ever. The great millstone. That's the poor man with vile raiment. When you placed in a low position, they did that to Noah. All right, so come on. Was it more? Yeah, finish, finish it off. Uh, verse four says, "Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil folks?" Yep, that's it, man. Because your reasoning is not. Uh, you know, spiritually inclined. You know, you have been stripped of the instincts of knowing who's who. It really revolves around the messengers in his lifetime, right? Because they carry the words of the Lord, man. But again, like I mentioned earlier, the Lord snared you with how they would present themselves. They would not come across as the nobles in this society. See? That's good. You got someone I can always start on doing it's the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and verse um, 27. It says, But the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world right. to confound the wise, and the yep. Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Yep. Hey, the weak things of the world to confound the mighty, man. And this is an example starting with the apostles and the elders. Why do I say that? Because we, we was never uh, esteemed in this society as educated men. Right? Hey, that's the same way they did did um did the disciples, man. See, we come in the same lot. Who are you know? What they say, you know? Who are these unlearned? You know, meaning what? We they they, they wasn't of of of, of, of the um, 
the high educated of that time when it, when it came to the scriptures, when it came when it came to the law, should I say? You know, they, they weren't perfected in the law. You know, they, they weren't perfected in, in this order and that order when it's pertaining to the scriptures, man. So that's the same sense that we fall in. Read it again, up. That's the same sense that we fall in, man. You know, we just we we men of low estate, meaning we are men that are unlearned. The insignificant ones with that, Matthew 11 chapter. Is that it? Uh, babe, I pray for you. Yeah. Get that real quick, because I'm going to get it. Read it again, up. Okay. First Corinthians 1 and 27. But the most I have chosen the foolish things. See, have chosen the foolish things that were. It goes back to earlier what we were saying. All the glorification is for the most high, man. The most high is strategic the way that he set up uh, every piece to the uh, chessboard, man. Go ahead, brother. To confound the wise. Yeah, to confound the wise, man. The wicked elites, right? To, to confound uh, the, the ones that was illuminated right on the left-hand side. Because guess what? These people know some things, man, right? These people are in control, and be, to be in control, you must have some type of order about yourself, for it's like knowledge, okay? Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked, so the most high is a powerful, uh, uh, powerful man. He's a powerful chess player. He gave the earth into the hands of these people. So these people are not dumb, but guess what? Wickedness is not intelligence. Wickedness is not wisdom. See, they, 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 they are... Uh, uh, on a high level in wickedness. So they, they ain't really wise. They ain't really intelligent. Read it one more time, like, You got it, bro. Uh, Cause yeah, we possess the light. See, that's what I'm, yeah, yep, they, on the they, right they, hand they possess, side. They possess darkness. On the left hand side, yep, Job 10. Yep. And when they put forth, mm -hmm. they light is like, even yeah. as darkness. How great hey, is that? No, how mean, great is that? That's beautiful, that's a good one right there. But guess what, they got the light. But it's as darkness though, you know what I'm saying? We'll say it again. Yeah, black, yeah, that's true. Not right. the true light. Yeah, not the true light. It's the black well, light. Not, not the GE guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, got yeah. the goddamn black light when you go to, you know, go ahead and read it again. Huh? <laughs> he says, um, to confound the wise. Yeah, and this is why we got the, the, the light on the right hand side, man. To confound the wise. That's how the most high set it up, man. Okay, this is the most high's booth. He set up the wicked, right? And then he set up the wise, right? But the wise don't have any power. Other than what they know, other than what they can speak, other than what they believe in, that's their power, right? They got they got the power of faith, but the, the, the wicked got, got powers in the kernel sense. They can make things happen, but guess what? The, the, the wise on the right-hand side, how do they make things happen? Through speech, only through speech and faith and what they speak in, and they put it forth, and, they, and, and, and then they, 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 they wait upon the Lord. So that goes back to Isaiah the 55th chapter. You know what I'm saying? The things that I put forth, it shall not return unto me for it. So how is the most high through your shot putting anything forth? Uh, what is that, Amos? Um, three and seven. The Lord power will do nothing but it, uh, uh, um, he reveal of his secrets unto his service, the prophet. So that's how the most high spring into action through your house shot. That's how he put things forth, right? Other than the wicked, they put things forth on the carnal level. Go ahead, bro. Huh. It says, and the most I have chosen the weak things of the world. Right. That's us, man. The weak things of this world, man. Meaning what? We don't have any education. We don't have any power in our hands. We don't have the resources of this lifespan, right, to make anything happen. Only thing we have is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's activated by faith. And then the capability to speak it into existence, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, I can you Weak things of this world. This world. That, that falls under the banner of the perception. Because according to this world. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't really understand <laughs> that, you know, overall, right? We, we're driven by the power of the house by the own side. Yep. Well, I, huh. It says, in the most I have chosen the weak things of the world to confound things which are mighty. And mighty goes into power, man. Ultimately, Esau is going to be confound by this. This whole ministry is an effort to confound Esau and his. Because remember, this nigga in the middle of trying to establish a new system. Right? Out of desperation, he's uh, feebly attempting to uh, press the reset. So now you're going to be confounded. And that really goes back to the humble beginnings. Remember, it tells you how Jacob, with subtility, took his brother's uh, message. Is it more than that? Yeah. Listen, more. Right, come on. It says, in the base things of the world, 
get thieves will try to despise Right, we'll like, despise it. You're going to see that as we close in on the return of Yahweh's son. Right, you see the slander campaign, the spirit campaign, you saw desperate attempts to, to get a leg up. Because truth have the momentum right now. That's a direct attack on the kingdom, the throne of the so-called white man. Truth, man. Go ahead. It says, have the most I chosen, yeah, and the things which are not to bring to not things that are. Right, because uh, this is not physically us and our glory, right, with, with a physical uh, scepter and a throne. So this is not seen. This is all driven by faith. But the things which are seen, the Lord's going to bring that to not. Man. Your reality, prophecy has spilled over to your reality. I, um, I did a video not too long ago where Taco Bell and different restaurants. I believe you brought it out first. But, um, yeah, it's going into how they're going 100% exclusively digital. And the point is, it's not like you're taken by or marveled by. The point is that that's your reality. You niggas, reality is piece of it. Taco Bell, right? So guess what? Prophecy is spilled over to your reality. And you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, what's that? So about 36? Uh, Let yeah. them know thee as we. <laughs> yeah, then you shall know that I'm the Lord. And that, that's the same with the flood, man. The flood literally spilled over to your reality. <laughs> Yeah, literally, it, it was a torrential downpour of prophecy that you was faced with. See? Hey, guess what? That power was alive and well, man. You know what the proof of that? We the proof of that. We the proof that that, that power in the Bible is alive. Because there hasn't been a time since the inception of the so-called white men we have men that was driven passionately going into the scriptures, going into words. You had schools and, and our professors and whatnot. But we out here on the streets, uh, scriptures say wisdom cry for power. So our very being proved that there's a power, man. Yeah, come yeah. Right there. Come on. Come on. Right there. It came out of nowhere. Go ahead, Ark. You sure? If I may go on back to that point, uh, mighty, uh, the things that I, uh, right. uh, you know, Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, King David, the young lad, Goliath. Yeah, right. yeah, ultimately, with that stone sunk in his yeah, head, right? right. Yeah, yeah. That, you know that. That's the word, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's what's it. gonna overcome, that's man. It. You know what I mean? That's so you got trial. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's true, huh? right? You said it. You said it's stuck in there. Yeah, it's, in your forehead, though. It's stuck in your forehead. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, we sinking this in the minds of the elite, man. That's beautiful. That's it. It's beautiful. Go ahead, up. Gun. Um, verse twenty-nine. That no flesh. To glory that, and that's the point right there. That what? That no flesh. That no flesh. Go ahead. We be in that flesh. Go ahead. To glory in right. his presence. And that's why when you see a lot of brothers and we do it, we always say, call halal or call halal your law, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Meaning what? We give it all praises to the Most High through Yahweh Shah, man, because we know it's not of us, man. So that's why, and that's why the Most High done this, man. Right? So, so you won't have no pride, man. Pride won't even creep into your vessel. You know, you won't say, just like, like Esau said, I will ascend into the height of the clouds. I will be like the most high. All right? So he's taking the power unto himself, saying, I, 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 not giving a, a, any glory or credence to a, a higher power that's over you. Well, that happened to Nebuchadnezzar. Remember, he boasted yeah. his achievement. Yeah. Boy, I reduced it to a beast. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I call it, you know that? Is it? Let's go back to 1 Corinthians. Uh, the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, in verse 9, it reads, For I think that the Most High has set forth us, the apostles, last. Right, see, so the Lord set forth the apostles, last. And we, matter of fact, let's go back to that word, last. Strong G2078, extreme. Last in time or in place. Right, last in time or in place, man. Right, this is a very heavy moment. Babylon, this he Babylon heaven, man. Right, this is the Babylonian experience. All the prophets knocked that Babylon at one point in time, for the most part, or another, man. The Lord actually always reminded you that he was going to destroy uh, 
America, Babylon the Great. There's a lot of reminders. Oh, the rain, right? The first form of judgment is actually a reminder that the Lord's going to destroy America. It's a constant reminder. You know what proved that? You ever see, and this is a physical example, something for you to consider. You have a puddle of water, right? And rain falls into it, like a raindrop. Not too pouring those shit, because that don't even really give off the effect of a rain drop. Exactly. Exactly. The diameter has dropped the contact. It causes a wave. Now the puddle represents the people. If you filter through the scriptures, you see it, right? Yeah. The sea, right? The people. And those rain drops when they come down, it actually look like a nuclear destruction. Yeah. Right? But that's not for everybody to consider. Yep, yeah, come on. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter three, and verse seven. But the heavens and the that's earth, which are now, but well, it's like I'm gonna start at verse six. Uh, 2 Peter 3 and 6, what about the world that then was, then overflowed with water, perished? Right, that's dealing with the old world, man. Lord, well, overflowed it, right? That was a horrific form of judgment, man. When you when you drown, it's like being in a, a constant state of gagging. Like you're in a lot of water, especially the, uh, as it relates to the density of the water. So it's not like the people... So as the water you know, surfaced over them, they just died. They, they felt the wrath of you. How about some outside, man? You know, they had them confused looks on their faces, shit, trying to breathe. So they was overflowing with water. There was a point where they would, you know what I mean? See them up and flown by and shit, man. I can't believe but the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word. Right, by the same word. So that proves those prophets was entrusted, who was entrusted with that word would be back today to convey that same power as touching his judgments in this time. See, that's not an odd saying, man. Well. By the same word are kept in store, Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment mm -hmm. and perdition for ungodly men. Right, meaning it will be certain men in power. Right, so the Lord's visitation, just like for an example, ancient Egypt. Who did Moses go to? He went to the higher ups, he went to the Pharaoh. So in this lifetime, so in the Romans, the ninth chapter, the modern day Pharaoh is Esau. That's the uh, uh, ungodly men who this fire was reserved for. And again, it makes sense. Look around, man. Where do we start? Just start Googling shit and a, a world of madness opened up into me. Yeah, shorts, and you should be really pissed in the spirit. You should really be agitated with uh, what's around you, man. Hey, because you're about to uh, change form. I believe uh, there's certain lobsters Right, they come out of the, they, they shell get too too tight, and they have to come out of it. And, and, right, but they start feeling the crunch of that shell, and that's that's a sign that oh, it's time to transition. So we get more and more uncomfortable with this thing. We outgrow. We have outgrown Babylon the Great. That, 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 yeah. That's the mindset. We have now officially outgrown this carnival. You you a kid? You, the carnival cool. When you get in your forties, everything about the carnival piss you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that motherfucker, the arcade, and the kids running fucking Coney yeah. Island motherfucker. <laughs> carnival music, cotton candy. Shit on there, I swear. Yeah. Yeah. Lost it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we have outgrown Babylon, man. This this place is. Uh, nothing more than a presentation of folly, man. Damn tea party, something. like somebody make you go to a tea party. You know, you little girl, you, know, you have to go and sit down at the tea party. <laughs> to a full grown man, you shouldn't be with that. Right, so come on. God, the book of the book of First Corinthians. So oh, like it. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 9. 
For I think that the Most High have set forth us the apostles last, as he were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. Right, we are made a spectacle unto the world. Uh, you read that in Psalm 37. Behold, mark the every man. Right? For the end of that man is peace. social media road, the internet, highways. So why all of a sudden you have right here where the Lord said he would make a spectacle? Which that word spectacle, when you go into it, it means to, to really be uh, 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 viewed or gazed upon, right? Yeah, being on the stage, so to speak. Hey, that's the Lord's going for his jewel. But if you don't have taste, you're not going to see the, the value in us. Well, it says, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Right, see, unto the world, man. See, that's the Lord proving that he's about to move on America. The other uh, setups around the planet Earth that the Lord has sanctioned to be destroyed. See? No way around. I, I got a little bit more on uh, the definition. Uh, uh, it says, the last referring to time. Yep. The uttermost part, the end of the earth. Yep, the end of the earth, man. Speaking about America, man. He went to the one where they said the credits low. Yeah, God. Yeah. Right. So the end of the earth, man. Meaning America, man. You know, from from um from from uh, uh, uh east to west. And that that will that will consider America. When we read Acts the first chapter. Who that read? You read that? Somebody read Acts the first yeah. chapter. Uttermost parts the of the earth. Uttermost parts of the earth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's it, bro. Yep. All right, come on. We got some more, man? Right. Cut. Cut. Psalm, Psalm. It's like in Psalms chapter 98. Then, um, I start, I start at one. It says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he have done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. Right, that's that's a faith booster. If you're in the right spirit, that's speaking in past tense. The Lord had already gotten the victory, man. The game been rigged. See, the elect, those who the Lord have sanctioned to escape his wrath is going to escape. Those who the Lord have numbered to the sword, whether it's through the famine, through dogs, the dogs that tear, the fowls in the air, they're going to receive that just reward. But ultimately, Yahweh was I going to get the victory, man? Well, the Lord, Yahweh Bashman Shah, have made known his salvation. Right. And how was this accomplished, man? Through the books being opened. Oh, what's that? Revelation, the fifth chapter? Those books that were sealed? Mm -hmm. So the scripture said the Lord have made known his salvation. See, we're in a heavy moment in biblical prophecy, man. With this book, which have baffled the minds of people, Right, have confounded so-called scholars. This motherfucker been studying, spending exhausting resources into the Bible, spending millions learning the, uh, ancient relics. Yet they don't understand the, the secrets, which uh, entails the raising up of this people and delivering us from this condition. So the Lord have made known this stuff. That proved that it had to be a secret. Yeah. Read that again. Yeah. It said the Lord, Yahweh Shah, have made known his salvation. Right. Like you have a present. A present is always, well, a present always comes in a secret form. Right. Wrapped up. 
His righteousness have he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. Read that part again. His righteousness have he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. First Corinthians, the fourth chapter. The Lord will make us a spectacle to all men. Before the heathen, which represents the nations, everybody, the Lord will openly show this salvation, man. You don't have to come physically descend upon these different cities to get the word. The Lord have uh, openly showed it. See? Go ahead. He have remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. Hey, you see what mercy and truth is in the same breath, man. So getting this truth is nothing to gloss over. It is a peace offering from the how about Shah. Right? So the truth is um, pretty much that down payment. You can't physically come into it. You know, like you have somebody who might be fighting over an inheritance. That happened when you have a shot. Remember that story? But then, you know, somebody ain't going to physically put themselves in that, you know, do the paperwork. But see, to come in on this inheritance is based upon your reasoning, man. Which begins with faith. All right, come on. Oh, God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power. See, all the ends. Let's look at that word ends. God. All the ends of the earth have seen <laughs> the salvation of our power. And that salvation is captured in the form of this doctrine. Yeah? See? So we're part of something great. This is a very privileged position to be in. This will be considered our royal seats. We're sitting at the king table. It tells you that in uh, Revelation the 11th chapter, right, and those who worship therein. When you go into that word therein, it uh, takes you back to the word preposition. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that's what you get, like when you go to a, a yeah, yeah, when you go to a, 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 a feast, you go into, they have the seats already ready, like a prestige yeah. feast. The seats, they already got the person name who's supposed to be there, man. Right, so, hey, the Lord dealing with who he's dealing with, man. You people out there, right, even if you're amongst us, you can't feel no type of way. The Lord, the Lord got certain seats for certain men. Be your black ass happy you in there, man. Oh, that's uh, uh, King Davidson. I was out there. We got niggas saying, I wish I was in that seat, man. What the fuck you doing in that seat? You know what I'm saying? That's a nigga in there. Oh, you know what? Hey, listen, the Lord sent the men and they can pick tie you. Carry you out and cash you out of your heart. Oh, the word is. Because that's like a nigga plotting. Oh, you and know, a nigga plotting. Oh, so, I'm going to tell you, this my owner of this taste for that. The video, um, the nigga Jay Z, the American Gangster video. Remember that, um, that rock boy shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. remember the video, it was two niggas in the, the whole video plotting on Jay, Jay Z in there. They should have been there kicking him. Yeah. That was in the motherfucker looking and shit, all that Jay Z mad and shit, whispering to him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, come on. Good. And we're in the end, Strong H 657. It says, CC in my We're gonna be a big bone with a bit of yeah. Fully, you know, took all of it. We're running back from the top. Uh, it says ceasing in finality. Right, yep, ceasing. Um, is it cease? The Lord is putting the cease to, uh, to the nations having dominion over the planet Earth. That's what's happening in the planet Earth. Everybody, he starts scratching his tongue, he's trying to set up a new system. Right, he's trying, he going as far, this desperation mode he's done. Right? He's trying to alter the, your mind the way you think. He he want to put your ass in an AI, like a virtual reality world, whatever. I go that. In the Strongs, it says, and in, no further, also the ankle. Yeah, oh, no further. Oh, yeah, that's that, um. Yeah, that Job 38. No further. Um, Revelation the ninth chapter speaks about that as well. But there was a uh, time reserved where the Lord would send forth his army, those missiles. 
and it said that they was uh, they was uh, reserved for a certain day. Uh, you, you have to pay. You have to pay for a certain time. Yeah. So that means Esau can't proceed any further with this match, and that's a beautiful move, man. Huh? You don't have to continue to endure homos and trannies. And you got to think about. I had to, you got to think about. Should I say that? Right? Should I say if I say that, is they gonna penalize me? That's sick, man. That proves you saw guilty. It says also the ankle as being yeah. the extremity. Oh, hey, 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 man, that's bad right there, man. Yeah. It said the ankle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow. That put Esau on the scene. Yeah, that put Esau on the scene now. If you um measuring the time diligently. Because when you read the statue, it gives you yeah, it. chronological <laughs> orders dedicated to the rise and fall of the kingdom. And the feet, when you think about it, is just before, like, right, you know, kind of. And that is, I, I guess that's the power, like the Kitty Hill. I don't want to really equate that. You know, that goes back to um, ancient Greek. Right, Achilles. Yeah, Achilles, yeah. All that crazy. But hey, chronologically, that's the position we coming from. Yeah. Could you get to the ankles and all that? That's the end of that. That's the end, man. It says and and souls. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing yeah. too, man. I mean I kind yeah. of just found this out recently. I believe you brother spoke about this as well before I heard someone speak on it, but um, like your toes they real brittle. They yeah. easy to break. Oh yeah. And oh, like yeah. more easier to break. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. You can break it and not really even know it. You bang it. It hurting like hell. Shit, it broke. No, no, I, I definitely say your, your foot as a whole. Your foot as a whole. It's a whole. Wow. Foot, wow. foot as a whole. Wow. It, believe it or not, your, your foot really take more abuse than anything on your body, but it's the most frail thing, one of the most frail things on your body. Yeah, and that shows you too, especially with the toes. With the toes. Right? Being, you know, the ten toes yep. aspect. Uh, this place is not stable, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real brittle. And, yeah, it's heavy. Like, this bit fucking concrete everywhere, man. <laughs> like, when you really think about it, it's an aspect of minerals, you know, gold. Yeah, it's concrete everywhere. So that even a symbol of it. It could potentially crumble at any shape. Right, so yeah, even your physical thing. Yeah, 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 you see that every Yeah, concrete is brittle. Your whole kingdom is a... Like a... Uh, they call it a deck of, a, a, a castle of cards. Yeah. It's built upon the things that's going to cause it to fall. Immorality, perverseness. That's not going to stand. All right, yep, come on. Got uh, uh, you got something? Yep. Uh, Job, Job 14 and verse 5. Yeah, man. Yeah. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of thy, of thy months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah, going, going into Esau, man. And the things that, like Elder was saying, the things that he's saying in his mind that he's going to do in a future date. The Most High has set up a boundary, man. It's just like an invisible um, uh, 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 force field, so to speak. You know, you, you can't even see it. Meaning, when I say you can't even see it, you ain't taking into mind that you got an expiration date to all your wickedness. You still running forward, but you don't even know there's a wall right there that's going to stop you from your proceedings. Right. Yep. The Lord actually have a cut off thing. Yep. yep. Uh, the Lord, he, he got a uh, kill switch on everything. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. He's over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think we would speak about that appendix. Yeah. That's an example, man, of fear of the Lord. That could just explode. You know nothing about it. You know what yes. happened, man? Yep. Come on. Uh, finish out the definition. It says, as being the extremity of the leg or foot, the end. Yep. Going into Esau system, man. Or basically, that, that statue, man. We yep. are the end, man. Yep. You know, that, that rock. We're going to destroy this place, man. Soon. Yep. And the, end of, the end of Esau is going to be destruction. But the end of us, going with it, is going to be glorification. Uh, I want the scripture say uh, the, the, uh, the, end, the, uh, the end of them, the foot of them. No, not that one. Uh, the, 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 the foot of you shall be. Uh, what did it say, God? 
Not, not, not the statue. Just comparing it Esau to us. Like our ending is gonna be glorious, but Esau ending oh, yeah, yeah, is gonna, yeah. gonna, gonna be. Uh, well, shit. Would you go back to uh, Genesis? Genesis the uh, twenty-seven chapter, right? Um, the scriptures uh, tell you how you have a sister. I have made him thy lord. I have made your brother Jacob your lord. The word lord, when you look it up, it has to go in the master, man. So that means they're going to be in subjection under us. Well, 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 that's that yin and yang effect. These two parties being joined at the hip. You know, there's no way you can teach this word and not get on Esau. That's why we know, or like the Elder Yasuwama went into, that, that coming thing with all these disgruntled niggas who, who are uh, rejected, they no longer condemn Esau. They just get on us, man. But that proves you don't have the uh, correct doctrine anymore because there's no way, there's really no way possible you can teach the kingdom of heaven without condemning Esau. You can't. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's the book of wisdom of Solomon. Hey, because imagine you get the kingdom, but America still get to be here. We just go to another side of the world. Man, no, man, we want to see, like, with the righteous anger of the Lord, you know, you want to see these people destroyed. Because if you leave one inkling of this shit, like, then it's spandex. Well, if I may, uh, that why it was a commandment, uh, Lord told Saul to get rid of all the Amalekites. You know, that they, they they still stand to this day. You know what I mean? You know. That's right. Yeah, that's the uh when you go into the prescription for the earth. <laughs> uh, we, got, we got the prescription to the cure of the earth. <laughs> go into the scripture, oh, get rid of the Amalekites. That's gonna that's gonna be the uh solution. Okay. I, I got one for you real quick. Just going to what you're saying. Uh Isaiah. Isaiah 14 and 22, yep. it says, For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall have hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall have. Right. That, that's ensuring that they will never come back into power. So, cut off the son. I remember the Lord killed off the first son back in ancient Egypt. Because in the ancient world, your son, he, he was left to occupy the throne after you. You know, you'll wound him up. Which this fourth beast was contrary to, to that statue. That custom. You, you vote them in. But in this case, the Lord said, I'm going to kill son and nephew. He was saying, look, ain't no way. You coming back in the power. Just, just real brief, add to the elders, just real brief. No offspring. Right, right. See? Yeah, no offspring. Huh? I have to sit on the throne because, yeah, yeah. yeah because uh, when the Lord destroyed this place, you're going to come back, right? You eat them. And we were speaking about that, about how these uh, elites and, and, their, and all those through their lords who benefit from this world, they're going to be the first fruits to slay. They're going to come back. It's going to be time. We got time. We got to force all the Edomites back. They're going to they yeah. come back in, 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 in droves. Yeah. The first fruit, their generations, the first fruits going to be. <laughs> Those bankers and yeah. all of their kind, yeah. and those right, benefited. Then yeah. guess what? And you're gonna have them other Edomites that are gonna come through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. And so we're gonna get them, man. Yeah. But again, they will not come back into power. See, and that's the luxury that we have. Time. You saw I don't have that luxury no more. All we gotta do is be patient. And the whole ooh, scene will ooh, change. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Just as a farmer. That's why this is a labor. Beautiful. Beautiful. Farmer, yeah, that's the most patient occupation one can think of. Gotta be patient. <laughs> you can't go out there. Yeah. You know, eat, they, they spray yeah. all type of, yeah. you know, yeah. trying yeah. to speed up yeah. the process. Yeah. Yep, I call it. Time. This is the movement. Just going back and saying, we got you got the spirit on you. Don't get on Esau. That's it. By default, that's what's going to take place. The book of Wills of Solomon, in chapter 1, verse 7, For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which contain of all things have knowledge of the voice. Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid. Neither shall vengeance when the punishment be passed by him. So 
is just going back. He that speaks on righteous things, which is the wicked, so called white man Esau, by us possess, you know, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel the testimony of Yahweh Shai, us having this light. It's going to, of course, you're going to have to get on this man. You know, us, you know, having righteousness, possessing, you know, righteousness, you're going to go against the wicked, man. What's that, Proverbs 29? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, the, the, that's he it, has the abominable, he's that the wicked man's abomination to the righteous. He yep. is upright in the ways of abomination yep. to the wicked. Yep. And you seeing that on display now, us speaking against this man. And even on his end, he setting up certain decrees. You two guys and I just show that fight is taking place. Man. Yeah, that's those two brothers. And, yep. he, and he saw coming with the cunning, uh -huh. right? The, the, the cunningness. You know, he's trying to tie us into, uh, uh, you know, that, that word, that T word. T Rex word, T R you know? That because uh, that's the way he have to move. That's just like for an example, right? Certain feline, certain cats, they don't, they like, they have to have the, the prey to run first. Like in a lot of cases, you know, they, the prey, they'll sit there, they want the prey to run and take off, and it and it provokes a certain instinct in them, and they chase you. Yeah, huh. Right, yeah, the hunt. Right, you grip, that's it. The real little hunt. Yeah, that is beautiful, bro. The, what? the thrill of the hunt, man. Because really, Esau, even though he's bound by Yahweh's mouth, that's a part of the boundary. Mm -hmm. He can't just do what he wants, mm -hmm. right? The Lord, he got to do what the Lord told him. But um, yeah, he technically he could just come down on him. Mm -hmm. But it's the thrill of the hunt. He got to be the cunning hunter. The scriptures got to be, he got to set up snares, right? We bold as a lion coming out proclaiming our stance with this nigga behind the scenes twisting words talking about this and that oh like this guy uh, Biden he was speaking about the whole thing over the, you know with, with the conflict over in uh, the Middle East then he threw America in there but I believe the, bro the brother sent the article but I saw the video where he said uh, yeah this is happening even in America you know he threw that in there he spoke about racism and Islamic phobia Right? Oh, that's the spirit. He's perspective. See, again, it's good to say that. Yeah, we'll be respectable to all men. And he, and he just, he's way right at the time. Yeah. So the Lord set us up as a gaze and stuff. Yeah, yeah. come on. I got something real quick. Uh, Psalms chapter 55 and uh, verse 21, it says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sword. So there's that kind of You know, he said that legislation and the snares, and you ain't gonna follow it to that track. Man. That's how Esau operates in the world, man. You know? Yeah. It talks about how they uh they draw scores and bend the boat for those that uh speak uprightly, man. That's who he really comes down to. Because when you when you bend your boat, you that means you point at something. You point it's a certain target. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's who he's pointing at those that have a testimony of your house shot, man. We gotta go out. Yeah, he did the part from evil making himself a prey. prey. That's it. Yeah. Well yeah, he saw has the power to come down, but he only can do what the most high allows him to do. You see? Well, the search spirit is going to be saved out of those uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, Isaiah 59. Yeah. Yeah. You have to uh, play out his role. You have to be that kind of hunter. You have to lay snares and traps. Matter of fact, somebody can look up that word, kind of. Well, you can go to it. I can go to it. This is the book of uh, Psalms 37, verse 12. The wicked plotted against the just and gnashed the pundit with his teeth. Right, bro. yeah, so that's what this man is doing. He plotted, man. That's it. Oh, it's like he, 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 the mouth was like, yeah, he plotted, you know? <laughs> yeah. Now, scripture says eventually he's going to gnash the pundit with his teeth. He's going to gnash the pundit, you know, press the pundit, sue it. Everything just playing out like it always played out. Well, even when we came out of ancient Egypt, it tells you how Pharaoh's armies pursued us. 
You go into that word pursue, it go back to persecute. So the persecution is going to be them pursuing you. That's the persecution. Them pursuing you, setting you in their sights. That's becoming after them. Hey, the scriptures say that uh, he who departed, matter of fact, is already that. Let's get that. Isaiah 59. And again, I wanted to say that teeth, right? Gnash the funnel with your teeth. Where your teeth is found? In your mouth. So through his legislation, his law, pretty much his rhetoric, through his media, he's going to look to demonize you. Isaiah 59 and 15, it says, Yeah, true fellows, and he departed, departed from evil, making himself a prey. Right, when you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey, man. Really, you ain't listening into a spiritual war. It tells you that in the book of um, Philemon. Matter of fact, get that real quick. Yeah, you're, you're, whether you know it or not, a lot of you Israelites unknowingly came into this thing for clout. Uh, so what you know in the form of debate. You see these guys with these debates, man. Like, for whatever reason it might be, the driving force, the inspiration behind, you know, you coming in. But unknowingly, you didn't know. You was enlisting in the war, man. Because we saw in the Revelation, the 12th chapter, and the 17th verses, tells you how the dragon, right? And the dragon is menacing. The dragon is going to uh, set his sights against those who have a testimony of the house shot. All right, come on. The book of uh, Philemon, verse 1, reads, Paul, a prisoner of the house Masiach, and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our dearly beloved and fellow laborer, and to our beloved Aphia, and the cripples, our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house. See, our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house, man. Real quick, look up that word house first, then we're going to look up soul. Con, that word house. <laughs> that word house, like it. The word house scroll G36 24. It reads a house, uh, the house of the most high, the tabernacle. It says, uh, the place where one has fixed his residence, one settled abode, domicile, the inmates of the house, mm -hmm. all the persons forming one family. See, all the persons forming one family. Mm -hmm. So wake up your Israelite, you know? So it's cool to some Israelite, you know, you jump in there, I'm a part of this great family. But that house is really, it, it's, it's a uh, fortress. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like you have, you have war. And so now let's get that word, uh, I believe it's soldier. Con. That word, uh, fellow soldier, strong G4961, it reads, uh, a fellow soldier, an associate in labors and conflicts. Right, an associate in labors, right? You got to do the work. And conflicts. It tells you that in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, consider him who endures such contradictions from sinners against himself. So when you come into this thing, that's going to, you have war, man, in the spirit. Which that's going to spill over to these devils carnally because they're not going to be able to continue to handle this spirit. It's going to be too much on. They have to revert. To their uh, their instincts, which is the sword. Yep, you got that. Yep, it says an associate in labors and conflicts for the cause of your house. Right, for the cause of your house. Right, you sent by your house. We're speaking on behalf of your house. Yep. So is that it? Okay. Right, come on. Bag of this soldier. Uh, this is the book of uh, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 3. So, like, yeah, 2 Timothy 2 and verse 3. I'm starting verse, um, yeah, 2 and verse 3. Now, therefore, if there are armies, as a good
of the Howard Shaw Marciano. It's like yeah, it's, uh, I just leave Adam, Adam with his brother just uh, speaking on. You have to uh, know what you're into before you uh, enter into it, man. Because you haven't come into this truth to get celebrated. Uh, to be honest, you come into this truth to get demonized. Because even yeah, your Howard Shaw, uh, if they killed him, if your Howard Shaw, if everybody loved your Howard Shaw, and he came to die for everybody, why did they kill him? You know? But well, like about words, it was at first um, forces that was against him, man. And the same thing with us today. He conformed to this world. Man. Right. It says, um, no hey, man. That's why he was like, it. this mess is so sensitive. Your house had to even tell us to be as be she. Because you, you wield them a sword that's going to cut the people, man. And what happened when you read the scriptures when they cut to the heart? They're going to let the kill you with their acts and set them back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a responsibility with this. You know, you have to be delicate with it. We got a platform to teach it. We have to teach it a certain way. You know, you can't uh, uh, be in the hood, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, man, that's it. We live in the hood. Hey, can I say it real quick? Oh, that hit me because when you first uh, receive the truth, you have you have so much zeal. Right. Sometimes you can't even control it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And you, you don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to handle the sword. You cut yourself. Yeah, you cut yourself. You see him slicing, chopping four heads off, yeah. and, you, and you you don't give a damn, but no, you can't do that. Yeah, you bro. become more responsible. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, it yeah. reminds me of the scene in Boys in the Hood. Remember when the daddy was sitting out there talking to the hood and shit about gentrification? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, I remember, yeah, 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 liquor store, uh, uh, why is the yeah, liquor store? Yeah. Same reason as the yeah, he would talk to the niggas, and they was all looking dark side. Yeah, I remember Boy, he said, man, your daddy's deep, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it, that time now. All the niggas end up getting killed. Exactly. Yeah. 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 All of them end up getting killed. Yeah. Who's in that hearing? Yeah. Oh, because even uh, the one who got shot, Ricky, mm -hmm. that nigga, he was, he was the one who was a grin. Man, yeah. what? That shit didn't change his life. He was getting the words out of the motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Remember that boy? I remember Rick, 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 Rick is supposed to have been the good boy. Remember, love by the mama. Yeah. He was doing everything right according to Esau to be successful in this world, right? Yeah, but like, like I said, he, he the first motherfucker. He really, he the one to get killed out the whole, you know? Yeah, that, that, that speaks that you said, ain't no shit. But you shouldn't do that, though. That's the point. You shouldn't be in the hood. Visit your cousin. No. Nah. Oh, right? God. And then, oh, then you got that at the barbecue breaking the scriptures. Yeah, that's all. This nigga wanna kill your ass. <laughs> you pull out of that nigga and follow your ass. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. Hey. Look at his back, y'all. Look, Matthew 7 and verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. That's it. Mm -hmm. and, hey, and, we, and we got something that is separated from the world, man. This truth, man. You know, this is not given unto the masses. Right? So it's holy. It's a sacred thing, it's a mm -hmm. separate thing, it's a pure thing, man. And, and why they can't get it? The scriptures say um, the truth will not enter into um, a malicious soul, man. Right. Yeah. But guess what? You got so much zeal in your mind, you thinking, man, man, boy, this, this is the truth. I got to tell my mama. I got to tell my partner. No, oh, bro, it's not meant for them. Uh, what is it, two of a household? Yeah. 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 But it's a, it's a lot of these groups, it's like, it's more so of a Come on, come on. You know, I mean, you consider great millstone, you know, beginning of the apostles of hell. This thing is about knowledge, man, wisdom, understanding, by being studious, learning. Right? Oh, the apostle, so how I went into that. About how um before you even come into this, you should be aware of the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should know the scriptures. Yeah, you just not here like this, like the why I'm so good. Like the why, you know, a bunch of niggas who got nothing to do. That's what they used to do back in the day. They had to put niggas somewhere. You had too much time yeah. in there. You sing it to the why. <laughs> Come on. This is not the why, man. No, this is uh this is a wise counsel. Right? Come on. It says, neither cash in your pearls before swine, lest they trample them yeah. upon their feet and turn again and rent you. Right, yeah, they turn around and get on you. It makes sense because eventually the more they sit around, you have to tell them that they're going to die. Right? It, it gets to that uncomfortable point. Hey, look, man, you know what I mean? Okay, I saw what you're to say. You got to tell them, man. Yeah, you said, yeah, man, the reason why your auntie died. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> right, this is only for a certain men. Oh, Yahweh Shah said that. Matthew the 11th chapter. Blessed are they who are not offended in me. How does that apply now to this doctrine? That vile raiment. And the poor ain't easy on the eye, you know? Like the poor man pop up in a party and get out of here. Who is that? You know, he ain't got to say that. <laughs> this is the book of 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 12. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed. Right, that's why this is going to be a great sacrifice in Basra. All you people wandering aimlessly through this place is nothing more than brute beasts. It was made, it was created for this moment. From the outfit you niggas don't have on on that day, all that's contributed is going to contribute to that, that smoke that's going to go up. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. Yeah, the key word there is understand. So you not understanding what this is about provokes a, a carnal reaction. Just like a dog. Like a dog don't understand, don't know you, right? He's not gonna diplomatically say, who are you? His instincts as a group of beast is going to be to bark at you. And that's what you niggas do. You come on the coming boy and bark like beasts. Because you don't have the wherewithal to reason. And it's based upon you not knowing. You don't understand. Your dog don't understand who the mailman is. He come up and as a group beast, he's going to lash out at him. It says, and shall utterly perish in their <laughs> own corruption. Right, yeah, that's what we were simply telling you. He's going to utterly perish. America gonna be utterly destroyed. All of you people that dwell in here, all of you outside of this circle, unless the Lord, like, see that that spirit, man. Yeah, and that was I, I couldn't make out he was he gonna die. He was a production of America. Yeah, that was like a demon, man. <laughs> yeah, but you know, hey, call how long like how about you outside? Like the Lord saw fit for us to get this word, man. Because the scriptures tell you that. Matter of fact, let's get we got anything else? Let's I got some proper, I know the brothers got something back here. Come on, let's like something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black and go come around. Hey, we ready to close two, up. Uh, two, one and ten. With these feet. Evil of those things which they know not, right? But what they know naturally as beasts, yeah. and those things they corrupt themselves. Yeah, it's a penalty for that, man. Guys coming up on the coming board, making fake pages to, to uh, pretty much um, a touch, if you will, the prophets and the ministry. See, you openly show your disdain for the men of the Lord. You got niggas that just openly just speak against the apostles and. With no fear, that's because you're a brute beast. Like a dog. A dog don't know, he don't understand the danger in him. The person got a sense of person got a strap on him. <laughs> the dog is fuck. Hey, hey, uh, like you like me, you eat discussing. Well with dogs sitting there popping another dog. Right, oh yeah, yeah. You know what right I'm saying? Right well, he might just take a dump, right? He might you. take a and he then get what? He'll look at you. Like, what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. sitting there. That that was you know just referred to you people that <laughs> because you let the necessary instincts, you see, to entertain this form of teaching. This is King's language. This is uh, King's talk. All right, so uh, yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. oh, matter of fact, mm -hmm. um, all right. yeah. Yeah, it's First uh, Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen. He said, "For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but mm. unto us which are saved." It is the power of the Most High. Yeah, see that? Yeah, the power of the Most High. Because why? It wakes you up. Matter of fact, you go to Proverbs 22 and 3. Why is it considered power? You know, obviously, we have been introduced to the greatest powers throughout the heavens and earth. You know, how and his only begotten son. How was I? We have been given a glimpse into the world to come, the kingdom of heaven, as it pertains to the glory of, of these people. Beginning with the elect. Ultimately, man, that power, man, that's that preservation, uh, that uh, covering yourself. Someone warned you of danger. It's not just 
to warn you is to provoke a reaction. Now you should take heed and go run for cover. See? All right, come on. God, the book of Proverbs 22 is like it because if, it's, if you don't, as the brother said, it's death to you. It's death to you who look at that warning that's foolishness. All right, come on. God, the book of Proverbs 22 and 3. A booted man foreseeth the evil and out of himself. Mm -hmm. But the simple pass on and are punished. So again, in essence, the doctrine, as menacing as it might sound, right? This dreadful sound, it was really an effort to sell the elect. So they can hear that warning, and as the brothers just read, hide themselves. See, matter of fact, in closing, let's go there. Revelation the seventh chapter. And it's amazing, man. Well, it, it don't amaze you as much as you do, but some things do. These different groups, man. Right? What they push for. It's just a festive, right? It, that social media. Head wraps and plates. <laughs> That's it, man. Yeah, it's, it's really offensive. That's what it is because you, you uh, taking the blood of your Halashah Masiyah in vain. Serious business, man. And as, as, as the times get more serious, then you get more serious. Like a game, right? Fourth quarter, you down some points. You ain't celebrate when you make a big catch, right? Right. You are, you down, it's serious, it's a time serious. You're getting back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's serious, man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is what I'm saying. There was no need right there. Fuck. Man, yeah, I was trying to make his point in this. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hey, but, you know, even in that, right, let's say if uh, someone would hear us in us. They'll laugh at us. What you, what, why are you yeah, excited yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. No, we yeah, just yeah. operating in the spirit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Or right. separating the light from the darkness. Yeah. 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 We hooking up. Yeah. Right. Why yeah. gaze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you see it. Yeah. Because you marvel at that. What you doing? Why are you gazing up? Even though know, the angel said it. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, representation. Yeah. 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 The book of Revelation, chapter 7. Start at verse 1, and after these things are so, four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. Right, the four winds represent the destruction. The Lord says, as a, uh, that besom of destruction speaks about the wind that driveth away the chaff. Come on. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the service of our power. Yeah, so you see, I mean, that's in conjunction. So in order to teach the destruction, because we got to teach the destruction, right? Well, that that act sealed the elect. Because we just read in Proverbs 22nd chapter where they're going to see the angels behind themselves. So we can't just come out here with a world-friendly doctrine. Like you, like you groups who teach, you know, uh, being an Israelite in America is the standard. Now you are officially a lot. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, really the fact of the matter is we serve as fighting and scratching for the mercy of your house by seeing our side. We, we got to report that the king of kings will come tear this motherfucker up, man. Right? Then that provokes a reaction. So the Lord said, go out on the highways and lanes and beg them to come in. Hey, see that? Why? Because you got to come in the house before the destruction comes. But I can't tell you, get in the house and that's that. Get in the house before you get your ass and see because it's going on out here. <laughs> So that's the message, and that is far into uh, mainly those of you, chiefly those of you got Bibles, your possession. Right? But, you know, to those of us who the Lord have uh, given His Holy Spirit, I uh, wish that Psalm 51 create in me a new clean heart, a new spirit. If that applies, then you understand perfectly well. If you know the lyrics of the song, you can dance to it. 
move, get it. See? So yeah, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to our teachers, the head of apostles, and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, to the fellow labels out there. As always, we believe us. Till next time, Bob, 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 Bob,